Yo, what is up? This is Aragotic. I hit account level 5, so I'm, you know, I'm a big boy now. Pretty cool. But this is going to be a pretty quick account update on where I am, what my current roster is, what my goals are, what I mean for next. And uh, since we're only level 5, there's my goals are probably going to change by the time our, my next update comes out. But, I mean, I might as well document the journey, right? And what decisions I regret later on, you know. Anyways, uh, first thing first is once you reach a certain point in the campaign, I believe it is in Chapter 2, probably just around the time you're ending Chapter 2, you get five pulls of five, and then you compare the two, you compare all the five at the end, and you can choose which one you want to go with. These have increased rates of epics and legendaries. Unfortunately, my recording... The audio became corrupt, so I'm going to be doing a voiceover. You won't be able to tell us a voiceover because I'm a really good actor, but nonetheless, since I've told you, now you will know. I'm going to slot that in at the very end of the video, just so that there's something and it's not just silent. But uh, long story short, with Legendary, I chose from the five, I went with Hydrosia. She's Ice, and she has a pet dragon, and also she has... um. You know, other pretty good things about her that make her pretty unique. But she's she's pretty slow, probably because she's so cold. But she applies speed debuff to the enemy team. So once she goes, she makes the other team slow as well. Which I'm assuming what you want to do is put a speed debuff or speed debuff or speed buff in the lead. And then, then get her up so that she can compete and get the speed debuffs out onto the enemy team. Which, at the current moment, I don't believe I have that. So, that's something down the line to look for. We're going with the basics of what we were given. So, we're just going with Kane and Zack and Celine. Which, uh, you know, it's working. But I'm not investing too much in these guys. Because I don't know which ones I'm going to replace. Because I also got CC... Vugahita, Vugahita, or something like that, and uh, Freya. I don't have any interest in using Dulav or Rourke, because they're, they're just lame, and I, I will never use the main character I, of any game. It just It's too generic for me. And I, she might be really good, who knows, I, I don't care. But yeah, CC is going to be a... a um, you know, it's a standard, like, healer, shielder, and we don't have any sustain, so that she's definitely an option right now. And Vagitita, he, he applies a lot of bleeds, so I'm assuming, like, for bosses, he's going to be better than Selene. And it, they have the same sort of, um, color or whatever. So he's definitely what I'm assuming is going to be good for bosses. Probably slot him in for Selene for that. But she has AoE, he doesn't. Uh, we're working through the rookie event. We're on day two, but I haven't even really gone too far in day two. Mainly just to test some stuff. We need to get through chapter five, so that's going to be my main goal right now. Upgrade a hero ability three times. I think that's just from the dungeon. Um, no Man's Land? Not Bounty Hunt. No Man's Land. And I think... What I'm going to be doing is waiting for this, which is in the next six hours. You get the uh, drops from here and then uh, buff up uh, Hydrasia. Uh, another thing is we're going to have to look at the Bounty Hunt and Arcane Dominator. I'm not really quite sure what this is. And I'm also not fully sure on what the Bounty Hunt is. I know it levels up the Tavern. But we've, we've purchased from the tavern the uh, limited time stuff like um, the summoning and whatnot. But we're not going to be doing a summoning until later on when I can do it 10 times. I think right now we're at like, what are we at? 7? Yeah. So we're going to get a few more of these before we do another pull. And honestly, I might still wait longer than that if we haven't gotten our legendary more up. Because 1% chance, I'm not really in a rush. There might be an event where you have to summon. We'll look out for that and potentially spend then. Uh, otherwise, this is my start. This is the people I chose and where I'm at currently. 
my next update i'm assuming i'll probably be account level 10 or so because i want to have act i want to have more to give for an update there's a lot of stuff i still need to go through and learn but uh yeah hopefully next time i have a bit more to show so i'm going to slot in the polls now i do apologize for future self about the fact that i had to reenact but that shouldn't happen in the future we'll figure out um what the audio issues are and why it became corrupt but yeah so i'm gonna leave you with that we go to summon this is our first one dragon really really cute i remember thinking that uh it's pretty cool that it's excited and oh oh my goodness it's it's um it's a legendary it's it's molehex woo i can't believe it's a legendary molehex he's so exciting uh, yay um second summon that oh oh it's yellow it's yellow that's pretty pog okay jacob and jonathan uh, you know two epics we can definitely get them over time so i'm not too interested but they both have really cool designs i they they look awesome if we're gonna be real for epics like a lot of times games kind of skimp out on the epics but in this one i am pretty impressed about what they put into it you know overall very good quality uh going into the third summon let's see what we get um oh oh it's yellow again oh hydrissia who who is this oh she's oh there's a dragon she's a drag oh she's not a dragon oh she's got pretty nice assets and she's uh, cold which is you know she she's pretty cold and she's got ice and a dragon which is also pretty cool i'm not actually a huge dragon fan but it's it's all right it's more of a pet dragon so that's that's actually kind of cooler than regular dragons um i know it, what's wrong with me uh let's go into the fourth summon let's see what we get uh okay okay dragon flying around oh look he's happy again again epics i'm not disappointed in the designs but their kits in general kind of seemed a little bit lackluster um i definitely like the girl more than uh the guy but you know maybe i'm just being biased nonetheless uh pretty cute and cool let's go into our fifth summon in our last one. Oh, oh, oh what is this oh wow it's valeria now i'm gonna be real with you this now it's a pretty hard choice between valeria and hydrissia uh it because valeria is pretty cool and she's pretty early on in the story and her story also isn't too bad but yeah those are our five summons let's put them side by side first one molehex second jacob uh, jacob and um <clears throat> jonathan you know that's pretty cool hydrissia she's got pretty good assets uh winstrex and william and our last one valeria so really it was between three and five and we're gonna go with hydrissia because you know um better assets oh yeah and also have a great day you know because you're awesome